Good day everyone, Maggie B here for Apps for iPads with for this Friday's edition of Tips and Tricks. And today what we're going to show you very quickly in our video is how to set up your free Mobile Me Find My iPad service. With the new iOS 4.2.1, Apple has very generously allowed every iPad and iPhone user to access this particular part of MobileMe for free. And it's quick and easy to set up and it's a service you're going to want to take advantage of. So what you're going to do is you're going to tap on settings, then drop down and tap on mail contacts and calendars, then tap add account, which will give you a whole list of accounts that you can add, but of course you're going to tap on mobile me. It's going to bring up a dialog box where you're going to type in your Apple ID. That will be an email address that you have set your iTunes account up with, along with the password that is associated with that account. You're going to hit the word next up in the upper right hand corner. And what that's going to do is going to generate an email to that particular email address. Go and locate the email and click on the verification link. And when that happens, you come back here to the mobile me dialog box, you will be prompted to go ahead and turn on the find my iPad button, which by default is off. It's as simple as that. And you've got the mobile me set up on your iPad and it's right there at the top of your accounts. Now there's two other things here on your iPad you're going to want to make sure that you do. Right here in the middle this fetch new data. You're going to need to turn the push notifications on. Now if you're like me and like to conserve your battery because you use your iPad all the time, I normally have that turned off. So what I do is I go into advanced which will present me with a list of applications on my iPad that use and utilize the push notification. All I do is I turn it on just for mobile me. So you, it gives you the freedom of picking and choosing and you can conserve your iPad battery that way. The other thing you need to do is to go into the general and make sure that location services is turned on because that is going to enable the GPS to find your iPad. Now, once you have this all set up on your iPad, you can go to a website that is me.com. And this is where you can utilize the Find My iPad in the event that you have lost or misplaced your iPad. First of all, let's 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 not say you've lost it. Let's say you've misplaced it. You know, for years we've walked around with cordless phones, set them down, and then have to go to our base and hit a button that sends some kind of a sound through the handset so that we can locate where in the world in the house that we set this down. Now you can do the exact same thing with your iPad. You just go to me.com and you enter in your iTunes ID and password just like you did before and it just follow the prompts and you have the ability to send a sound through your iPad. It'll play up to two minutes so that you can locate where you've lost it. Now, if you really lost it, it will also give you the opportunity to type in a message so that the next time someone boots up your iPad, it will play this message, I'm probably imploring them to please contact you so that you can get your iPad back. But you also have a couple other very important options that you can do through me.com, and that is to lock your iPad so that no one can actually get into it, or you can wipe your iPad of all your personal information so that they cannot access anything that you would not want um, a stranger to have on your iPad. Now, if you come across mobile me software to download, last week I was prompted that I believe it was my QuickTime needed updated. Well, in the little dialog box that comes up, it also asks me, do I want the Safari browser and would I like Mobile Me? Well, I clicked on Mobile Me thinking that I needed to do that. You don't need to do that. That is only for people that have the full account, the paid account with all the syncing and all that type of thing. If you have only the free account, that will not work. It doesn't hurt. It puts it in your, I, I discovered by doing it, it puts it in your control panel. But when you try to click on it and enter your 
ID and your password, it doesn't do anything. And it took me a bunch of research to discover, oh, it's because I only have the free account. So it wasn't quite obvious until I did a um, some some looking around that that's what that is. So you don't need that at all. So don't even bother to download that software. Just go to me.com and I'm going to step over to my iPad and I'm going to turn on the sound alert so you can actually hear what it sounds like. So if I have left this somewhere in my house or in my yard, it says find my iPad, alert, unlock device, and tap OK button to dismiss. So it's just like your mobile or your, your cordless phone. It's it's uh, it's a sound so you can find where in the world in the house you or someone in your family left your iPad. So there you have it. It's as simple as that, and you're up and ready to go. Check out the website. We have all sorts of screenshots so you can see exactly what you're going to see on your PC and um, as you go about setting this up. It is super simple, but it is a great service to have and you're going to want to set this up. So this is Maggie B for Apps for iPads. I'll see you on the website and I'll sync with you soon.